Designs with very non-uniform metal density distributions are not friendly for planarization. They are likely to have wide fluctuations of wire thickness. This in turn causes large timing perturbance. In this demo we will use caliber in route to perform sign of SVRF driven metal fill and CMP or metal thickness analysis. Then we will run Olympus own extraction and timing analysis to evaluate the combined impact of inserted metal fill shapes and annotated thickness of wires on timing. This design is placed and routed on 45 nanometer technology. It has about 80,000 routable nets. This is Olympus GUI. In this demo we will use the layout window, command window below where I type commands and see log messages, and view option dialog to show metal density and thickness maps. Design has already passed DRC sign-off with in-route built-in caliber DRC verification, which is shown in a separate demo. Before we perform any M-fill insertion, I will generate a timing summary report. We need to add metal fill to improve the manufacturability, but doing so can change the timing of the design. So we will analyze the timing before and after metal fill. Extraction here is performed with nominal layer thicknesses. Olympus performs simultaneous analysis of multiple corners, combinations of process, voltage, temperature, and design modes, sets of timing constraints. We will compare these numbers with one we will get after the metal fill. Let's also see what is the metal density of this design before the metal fill. You can see that average density is very low. Now we'll look at the metal density on metal 4. The entire periphery of the chip has a density below 10%, which is far below the requirement. Before running Calibre M fill, we have to configure it. Configuration process is similar to that of Calibre DRC and other embedded Calibre applications in in route. Command is config Calibre M fill. Now we're ready to launch Calibre M fill. Because the MFIL process is driven by a Caliber SVRF DAC, it's by definition sign of DRC clean. For each enabled MFIL rule, dummy or OPC, the number of inserted objects is reported. Let's verify if metal density is better now. I run update metal density map again. So we see that metal density on, on M4 is now around 20% versus around 7% before and the density map looks much better. Now let's take a brief look at the inserted metal fill shapes on metal 4. Here on periphery of the chip most of the M fill shapes are the dummy fills. You see those are large squares 2 by 2 microns. Near the wires in the middle of the chip most of the inserted M fill shapes are of RPC metal fill types. They are much smaller. The width is only one tenth of a micron. At any time during the flow, before or after metal fill, we can perform layer thickness analysis with integrated caliber CMP. Like all other caliber applications, we have to configure it first. Now we will launch caliber CMP analysis. Command is analyze CMP minus mod caliber. CMP analysis is now completed. We see ranges of layer thicknesses and the thickness map was annotated with CMP analysis results. Finally, we perform extraction and timing analysis, which take into account both inserted metal fill shapes and simulated wire thickness from CMP analysis. I configure extraction to use real annotated thickness values. We can see that timing is different from our initial timing report. While metal fill typically slows down the circuit, the effect of CMP analysis can shift timing in either direction. If users decide that timing degradation is unacceptable, various methods of timing improvement can be immediately exercised in Olympus. In this demo we used Calibre in route for sign of Calibre DRC clean M fill insertion. Then we performed a CMP of thickness analysis, 
as we never left the Olympus environment, we could perform instant timing analysis reflecting the impact of MPhil and real wire thickness.